Now we are interested in what goes on inside the differential amplifier at the transistor's level. So the topic is basic transistor level CMOS differential amplifier. To show you that, we have to go back to the single stage amplifier. So we have to look at the single ended common source amplifier. So basically we have one input, one output of the basic common source amplifier. So here is the circuit. As you see, we have the transistor M1 where it has V1 is coming into the gate and then we have RD at the drain and the gain of this amplifier was evaluated in earlier lectures to be minus GM times RD in parallel with RO. In this particular circuit, we assume the DC biasing is taken care of. We are not going to worry about the DC biasing, so it is something that is taken care of. Also, remember that the output voltage for the common source amplifier has two components, DC component and AC component. So let us state that the output voltage contains the DC and the AC components. Now the DC component is easily evaluated. V out 1 is equal to VDD minus ID times RD. And watch out for the logic here. What happens is if the transistor is on, if the DC component of the transistor is on, that means the drain current is going down and the drain current flows through RD, that means by Ohm's law there is a voltage drop across RD, then we say that the voltage at the output will equal to VDD minus the voltage drop across the resistor which is ID times RD. And this intuition is very important for analog engineers. I would like you to master it if you have not mastered it in early courses in electronics. Make sure you master it and visualize it. The DC voltage at the output will equal to VDD minus the voltage drop across the resistor, which is ID times RD, where ID here is the DC voltage. So everything we say in here is the DC voltage. Then we can substitute for the expression of the DC current. Then the output voltage V out 1 will equal to VDD minus 1 half KN W over L times VGS minus VT quantity squared multiplied by 1 plus lambda times VDS. This component here is the DC current for the transistor multiplied by RD and that will be the DC voltage at the output. We did this analysis in earlier lectures when we discussed the single stage amplifier and we also know the small signal AC gain is given as V out over V1 will equal to A which is the AC gain and that will equal to minus GM times RD in parallel with RO. So this is a review of the single stage common source amplifier. However, we are interested in the differential amplifier. So how is the differential amplifier is implemented? Well, the differential amplifier is implemented using two identical common source amplifiers. So we will have two common source amplifiers as shown in the figure here. This amplifier has transistor M1 and this amplifier has transistor M2. And in addition, we have the two inputs V1 and V2 that will go to each amplifier. Here is the trick of the circuit. Watch out. It's very clever. If each stage has the same DC biasing, then the output DC voltages of both stages are equal. What that means is, if we made sure that all the components are identical, that means the two amplifiers are identical, then the DC voltage of both amplifiers at the same location is equal. Basically, the DC voltage at the gate is the same and the DC voltage at the 
outputs is the same. So the DC voltages are equal for both stages. But the differential output voltage is the voltage difference across both outputs. To simplify the conception here, we're going to say that the differential output voltage is the AC signal. It doesn't have to be, but we're going to stress it here to be the AC signal. Then the differential output voltage, which is the AC signal here, is the voltage difference across both outputs. Then the output voltage, V out, is defined to be V out 2 minus V out 1. I defined it here to be V out 2 minus V out 1. But we know that V out 2 is basically nothing but minus GM times RD in parallel with RO times V2. How did I get that? Well, because this circuit is a single stage common source amplifier, then we know that the output voltage is basically the AC gain, which is minus GM RD in parallel with R. O times the input voltage which is V2 and the same thing for V out 2 so we're gonna say minus minus GM times RD in parallel with RO multiplied by V1 so now we define the AC output voltage to be V out 2 minus V out 1 and when we substitute it for the AC output voltage is V out 2 minus V out 1 that's what we have but because the two transistors are identical, that means GM1 and GM2 are the same, which are GM here, and RD and RO are the same because the two amplifiers are identical, then we can really factor GM, RD in parallel with RO out. So what we will have is V out will equal to minus GM times RD in parallel with RO times V2 minus V1. And this is interesting because V2 minus V1 is nothing but the differential voltage. So now we can say that V out, which is the differential output voltage, will equal to minus GM times RD in parallel with RO times the differential input voltage VD. And that is what is exciting. Now we define the differential output voltage in terms of the differential input voltage. And that is the basic structure of the differential amplifier.